All right. Video started. We're still getting our act together here. I got the microphone pretty much where we want it. Right there. How's that? Okay. We don't have a. It doesn't show that we're live yet. Oh, great. It says live, and we have three viewers. Okay, well, we'll just trust that Hi. I'm not getting a notification, and that's all. <laughs> They're there. They're there. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Tangled up. So, it seems odd to be going back to Holy Week, doesn't it? I mean... We just finished. We just finished, feels like. But the Carillon just played um, The Strife is Ore. Oh. Huh. Hallelujah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my. I hope your day is beginning well. Friday, and I hope you are on your way to a blessed weekend. Uh, we're going to sing Right On, Right On in Majesty because we're looking at Palm Sunday today. And it's hymn number 441. <clears throat> Right on, on, right on in majesty, hark all the tribes, hosannas cry. O Savior, make pursue thy road with palms and scattered garments strode. Right on, right on in majesty, in lowly pomp, right on to die. O Christ, thy triumphs now begin, O'er captive death and conquered sin. Ride on, ride on in majesty, The angel armies of the sky. Look down with sad and wondering eyes To see the approaching sacrifice. Ride on, ride on in majesty, thy last and fiercest strife is nigh. The Father on his sapphire throne awaits his own anointed Son. Ride on, ride on in majesty, in lowly pomp, ride on to die. Bow thy meek head to mortal pain, then take, O God, thy power and reign. The Triumphal Entry The next day, the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him crying out, Hosanna, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to bear witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, you see that you are gaining nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Well, if only that were true, that the world went after Jesus. 
You know, that we are in an era when big marches are a thing. That's mm -hmm. uh, it's not a new thing. It's been part of American history for centuries. And uh, certainly is a big thing in, in uh, many other countries. People turn out into the streets to say something, right? Normally what's happening there is people are trying to uh, exert a sort of populist power. There's a lot of us and we're upset and we want change and we want to support this person or we want to oppose this person. Um, what were these people saying? Hosanna. Save us. They were crying. Save us. Uh, I don't know if... I, I know that there is a political component to that. And, and that the people at that time were... You know, the palm branches, that was a patriotic flag kind of uh, symbol that they were using. And, and the donkey, you know, the significance. Um, the connection with King David... And, and that Jesus was plainly revealing himself as the Davidic king, the Messiah. And, the, and these people wanted him to politically reform their nation. Uh, this is actually serendipitously you know, figuring large in the sermon hmm. for tomorrow night and Sunday. Um, this is not not what Jesus came to do. We, we sang about it. Ride on in majesty. Ride on to die. In lowly pomp, ride on to die. We, th th this is such a contrast here. We want to agitate for better working conditions, you know. <laughs> We want to to protest injustice, and we want something justice to be done in some way. But believers in Jesus agitate for Jesus to be their king, and for Jesus to save them. And Jesus does that not by changing their government. He does that not by not by exercising power but by taking up weakness. An apparent defeat in order to, how do we put it? Thy last and fiercest strife is nigh in order to take death captive and conquer sin. Those are your enemies. There are people in our nation today who are who would wish to overthrow government and change systems and down with the oppressor, right? Um, the believer in Christ understands that our salvation is not there. Our salvation is not in anger uh, or rage. Rather, it's like these people, joy that we have a king who has saved us. Heavenly Father, we pray for our nation, for the, for the many angry people, uh, for, the, for the many power groups wrestling this way and that, seeking who will prevail and rule. Lord, we would desire you to rule. Not in Washington, D.C., not in Lansing, Michigan, but in our hearts and our minds, in our lives and our homes and our families. Lord Jesus, we would desire you to be our king and to save us. There will not be justice in this world because 
Every party is sinful and broken, made up of sinful and broken people. We will not find a legal solution to sin. But you, Lord, have found the answer. Give us your Holy Spirit and the peace that surpasses all understanding so that we may exist in this violent world, this angry world, and be the source of peace, of light, of salt, like sheep that we may follow you and we may be your own. Until at last, you establish your kingdom forever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>